Yo, what is up everybody? Jumpin' here, and I'm back with the Jumpin' Dead, aka The Walking Dead Season 1. In our last episode, we met Clementine, and she's really adorable. And guess what, guys? I have my new mic now. This is the Blue Yeti. And this will be my first recording with it. So let me know, what do you think? Do you like it? I still need to figure out, like, how to set it up, and... All that kind of stuff, so sometime in the future, maybe it will sound a little bit better. But as of right now, this is my first recording, so let's see how the quality turns out. Alright, so I chose to head out at night, which might have been a bad idea, honestly. Because, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of walkers at night. I wasn't really thinking about that. But, you know, hey, maybe we can sneak past them, because it is nighttime. Alright, let's go ahead and open the gate. Okay, here we go. Oh shit, we need to walk down the street. Whoa. I found the best. Whoa! Are we going to die? No. No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! It's the cops! They're coming for us! We're friendly! There's a little girl here! Oh shit, you're not one of those things! Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! It's Chad! Let's oh. go! Get to my car! Go! Just shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, you idiot! Ah, uh, you never do that. Every time that ever happens in a movie, or you get the opportunity to shoot something like a zombie, and then you don't, that same zombie will pop up and eat you later. You know, that actually happened in the show, too, if I remember right. I think it happened with Carl. He could have shot a zombie, and because he didn't, somebody died. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen the show, but yes, that did actually happen in the show as well. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care, you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. 
No, she don't. Okay, we just then. met. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Ah, let me come in the house, man. Don't make me sit outside. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Um... It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh shit, it's Herschel! What? How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I don't even know. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Oh, shit. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Man, he's making us sleep in the barn with the animals and shit. It smells like... Uh... I don't even know. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Oh, she's so I cute. miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Time to get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I love you, baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Alright, I'm guessing that someone killed his wife. Because I was thinking maybe he killed his wife, but from that, it sounds like someone broke into the house or something. I don't really know. Anyway, yeah, that was a rough day, hey, you know? get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but oh, I bet shit. your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm not her dad. Not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> he said Duck, though. Duck? Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! What? But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. What an asshole, man! The That's word your is, kid! You're on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. You fucking racist? Is, is that because I'm black? Thanks, but no thanks. Damn, friend. You must be some kind of something if you think you two can survive out there on your own. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. 
we can visit. Uh, I don't know. I don't like these people. I mean, the dude called his son, like, stupid. He's like, well, we call him Doc because he's retarded. Then he said, like, you know, hey, you, you could probably knock some heads hair. together because you're I a black guy. Oh, he didn't say it like that, but that's how I took it. All right, let's see. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay, let's see. Uh, hello. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Oh. Now, how do I talk to her? Hello? Hello? Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lead, a young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to talk to the other woman. Hello? Fuck. Okay, I'll come back to that, maybe. Let's come over here. The controls are a little bit awkward, that's for sure, you know? Because this is definitely like a point-and-click game, not a controller game. Oh, shit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Alrighty, hello. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Oh, no timer. Awesome. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Oh my god. Again with this guy. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, no timer. I don't like that timer, guys. I really don't. It freaks me out. Like, when I see that timer, I'm like, OH SHIT! I gotta hurry up and say something! Alright, let's see. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's good. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Oh man, what is this? Dawn of the Dead? We need to hop on a boat. Well, I want to be on a boat, because I love boats. Then I can say, I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat. That's right. Alrighty, let's talk to the little boy. Hello. Oh, hi. Maybe he is kind of special. I don't know, he's kind of got that look on his face. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Uh-huh. Alright, hello, Sean. How you doing? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Oh, no. It's gonna make me have to do this watch. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh, let's see. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Let's see what to say. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. 
Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Oh, shit. I'm uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, so I guess we need to go talk to Herschel. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna actually talk to that lady by Clementine. I'm gonna try. And let's see. Hello. Fuck. Hello. You have no, I don't want to talk to you. you Clementine. Yeah. Fuck. I want to talk to this lady. Hey there, girl. There we go. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well... I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Wait a okay. minute. I thought she was eight years old. She should be in the second grade. Hmm. Maybe that's a plot twist! How'd you get out of Atlanta? Shit, why you gotta say it like that? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm, well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh-oh. My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. 
But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the oh f- shit! Go. That's not good! Oh, Go get your god! Okay, what's going on? Oh fuck! Help him, little boy! What are you doing? Did you run him over? Oh my- Oh shit! Little boy, he's in trouble! Oh no! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, help! Help! Oh! You need help more! Help me! Oh, come on! Fuck! You can do it! Crushed! Move this thing! Ah, fuck! You got him! You got him! Kenny! Help Lee! Dude, what in the fuck Kenny. are you doing? Oh my god! Uh, push it! This stupid little boy had to run this guy over! Oh no! No! Oh! Poor Sean. Wait a minute, Herschel didn't believe in killing them in the show. So this is a lot I'm different. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, uh, Lee tried to save me. It did get I know, well. son. I... Uh... Oh. That's so sad. Poor Herschel. By the way, Herschel is like my one of my favorites on the show, just saying. Get out. What? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him. But this piece of shit let him die. He is a piece of shit. Yeah, it, it's Kenny's fault. If Kenny had helped, your son would be alive. And that's why I'll wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Some bitch. Got nothing to say, do you, huh? You've got that ride to making if you want it. I don't even want it from you, bro. I want to stay with Herschel. Fuck. He he got a gun. <laughs> I want a gun. That's what I want. Oh man, do I really have to go with these freaks? I guess Herschel doesn't want anyone staying here. Ah, oh, that sucks. Maybe I should have said it was my fault or something like that. Because if I have to go with this Kenny guy, I want Kenny to trust me. He's not going to like me anymore. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh, this does look. not look good. Oh, shut hey up. There. Don't say anything. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fucking idiot, man. Fuck. We're trapped. Ah! Ah, no! Oh, shit. No, little boy. Oh, who the fuck is this? Run. Okay, I guess we're locked up in a gun shop or something? 
Well, that was fucking crazy, man. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just oh, ran uh, out there. Clem a time? Give a Listen to Daddy jumping! We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, um, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. Hey, fuck you. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Oh, hey, shit. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Okay, let's see. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Damn! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Clementine! Clementine! Ah! Oh, no! Rat! Oh, my God, this clumsy bastard! He's so fucking clumsy! He hit his head again. Uh, uh, grab her! Get her! Oh, I'm coming, baby girl! Are you son of a bitch? Oh, shit! Get the fuck off of me! Oh my god, get off! Damn. Thank you. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody oh, no. down! Stay quiet! 
We're gonna get in, shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, oh. Dad! Oh my God, is he having a heart attack? I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> oh, my pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, man, really? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. What the fuck? Who made Larry the leader? Wait, is his name Larry or Kenny? Who made Kenny the leader? Like, fuck. She's like, you got it, boss. Fuck that guy. I don't like him. Oh, man. This is some crazy shit. That's for sure. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna end this episode, though. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like and favorite the video for me? And be sure to comment and tell me what you think of this new mic. Do you like it? You know? Do you think the quality is pretty good? I might have to mess around with the settings a little bit, but... You know, hey, whatever. I hope you guys have a nice day and poo so.